You do, then hand her. Okay. Let's switch. Actually, I'm even shorter. I'm shrinking. I'm shrinking. Um, I wanted to say thank you, of course, to Amy and everybody here, and also um, to Heidi Lynn Staples, who I think um, kind of spearheaded this group with Amy. Okay. Um, and I also wanted to just um, bring forth this term called epigenetics, and it's a new science. It's kind of standing in opposition to evolution, or it's in you know, conjunction with evolution, but basically it asserts that the environment is shaping our DNA, not in an evolutionary sense through long um, patterning and, um, but rather quickly. So I think it's um, a vital way to perceive how we're being affected. We are the environment and the environment is us. So we're, we're making the environment but we're also the environment, so as a mosquito bites me. Um, I thought tonight that I would uh, choose to emanate Leslie Scalapino, who is a, a, just a terrific, dynamic thinker, 110% um, full on consciousness, uh, was a great mentor to me and is dearly missed. However, her work stand tall and um, I'm going to read a little from The Return of Painting the Pearl and Orion, a trilogy, and I think that she might just hover amongst us because she, she's able to do transcend time. Woman waiting on long yellow grass. There's the blue sky. She's waiting turmoil and some buzzards are on the grass that is before her. Slow, low gutting on the long yellow grass and the buzzards are on the corpse and is amidst the grass. Hams forward and then back waiting and ahead and behind that is in the grass in the blue sky. On the slope, hams extended forward waiting on it roll down the grass and the buzzards on one cluster flapping that is in the blue sky cluster flapping on a corpse waiting on indentation in the waves of slopes and buzzards start are on a corpse flapping up hams waiting up in it the buzzards in it had been on the corpse here and there flapping cluster in it on one the were in that the mixing amidst in the indentation. Pushing into going into the ocean, which is at the edge of this, on the rise with the others who are churning. The water is heavy, the rise of it, the living have struggled into it. The shot cracks into it, and a corpse boils. The living churning around it, the lighted sea. The other feels a crack in her side, the hip that is soaked, hanging in the heavy water. Blood that comes into the sea from the humans. And wading in, who are shooting, they're keeping on going, cracks of shots in it, churning, heavy mass, swimming, the rolls in the waves. Having the hip that had hung in the water in the long grass, weeds entwined, dragging the hip leg laying, sleep deeply before. The men on the mounted pickup truck emerges through grass, a shot in the heavy grass, the leg lying twined in the weed and rolling into indentation. Buzzards fly up. From a corpse in the indentation flapping on it, which is turned over on its truck, trunk, trunk of woman low waiting now, her on the long grass, rolling into indentation of reddish cattle with gentle faces who are kneeling in it, the kneeling gentle cattle beginning to stand frightened, the leg is soaked, the kneeling cattle standing, settling the twined grass in among them, slept in a matted indentation with them, the men out of the mounted pickup truck overseeing muffled, lying by the steer. It is not double. There's a puff, crack of shots muffled, 
morning comes. It does not come. How can it? The thick, slip, thick slurred cattle kneeling, eating in the light air, the lightning white air, wheeling oneself forward on a cart, a sled of the leg, on the sidewalk, asking money of the passerby, in it on the sled. For the one, they think, for the other who's asking for the money, on the sled it is. A soldier, affected by the unburied dead, covered with the buzzards in the valleys, and not turned that inward. And then he's in the light air, and not figure out how it unfolds, wheeling on the sled, having slept in the indentation, deer simply have ticks, have become huge until they drop. A huge tick on the side of having waited, they begin singing. Soldiers she meets on the road are a choir, and they begin singing. Into the area of just pulp, only that, one realizing, I have to do this myself, the leg is soaked. She goes on the sled. There's a sandbar out along stretching, on which are corpses the buzzards had encrusted flapping. The light air is coming up, no planet or orb, an orb floating. Now it's gone. And out tangled in the yellow grass on it, the woman waiting. There's a corpse in the grass, the buzzard sapping. It's whirring, it's far gone, in the light air. It can't be in the long yellow grass. The hams stretched out and running down the slope in the yellow grass, arms twirling, flapping, being in the grass. There are weeds, it's dawn, encounter sensitive man, as in trunk of seal lying on her rearing they're coming the light air is coming up entwined thrashing around he puts it into her again him rearing on the trunk he withdraws it takes it out the weeds are still he puts it back in on the trunk him having gotten an erection the trunk the bulb of it in her after the dawn there was this crescent moon hanging with a yellow planet in this blue night sky. They are low in it, the sack of corpse, wavering bulb that was created by some behavior. They are the orbs weren't held. Birds come glancing, sucked, and then released by the one or the people in their behavior. It's completely irrelevant. The market created the jewel, and be that completely what is bothering you that you had to be on the street? I have five children. Why be in the comic book? We are simply in it, yet we must try to be in it. I don't know how. Girl is seen walking on the street, black on the bright billowing sky. She comes up to the other and then is on the other side with the puffed illuminated sky before the other. Reading memory only is REM. Thank you.